So hello friends, uh, I bought a new router today uh, from TP-Link. My old router was giving some issues. I was having continuous fluctuations on the circuit. I thought it was an issue with the service provider, but uh, it turned out to be an issue with my router. I just had a dual antenna, dual band um, router, and now I have decided to change uh, with a new one. This is the TP-Link AC1900 Wi-Fi router. This too is dual band, but this has four antennas and with higher speed. Uh, the feature about this we'll talk in a bit. So let's uh, do the unboxing. Uh, nice and slow. Um, so I'm gonna see what we have in here. Uh, this device slowly pull it out. And then, so what we have here is Get this aside. So I see a quick installation guide. Uh, we're gonna uh, look into this layer. Um, there's a router here, uh, four antennas, which we can calibre later. A LAN cable and power adapter so you can see the brand of TP link on the power adapter as well so now before I turn this on and you know uh, try to configure this uh, um, these are the ports that we see on the back of this TP link Archer C80 so the, the the one that's here is the power button this one is where the the power adapter um, goes in this is the WAN port so this is a port where your ISP circuit goes in these are the LAN ports only so you use them uh, to connect to different PCs or an external switch where you want to you know um, make a big network um, most of the port, uh, on, a, on a home use we don't we hardly use this but you can still go ahead and use it uh, so the router is switched on. Now you can see the new TP link on the Wi Fi list of connections. Log into it using the password that is provided on the back of the router. Okay, once you're in, you need to reset a new username and password for the router. This will be your admin password. Okay, set up the time zone. And then you can change the password for the Wi-Fi from the default password that is there on the back of the router. So once that is set, it will log you out. Now you need to log in again using the new Wi-Fi password that you have just reset. Nice and slow. Okay, but the internet is not connected. So to connect that, what you have to do is you have to provide the username and password that is provided by your ISP provider. In my case, it is ACT, so I will provide the username and password that ACT has given me. And I will also connect the change of DNS settings. So once that's done, oh, it kicked me out. So once that is done, I should be able to connect to the internet. Let's see what I check on my settings here okay yes I will be able to connect now speed test on the old router it shows 20 mbps remember I have a 100 mbps plan on the new router it shows almost 100 uh, it crosses 100 most of the time but yeah the actual speed it comes to is around 97 The router is fully functional now. You can see all lights green. No lights on the LAN cable because I don't have anything connected to it. Okay, let me give you a brief overview of the router and the functionalities that can be used to regulate the usage of internet at your homes. Here on the main screen, you can see my Archer 360 router, 2G, 2.4G and 5G and then I have two clients connected to it. I go to the advanced tab. On the operations mode, you can see 
that the router can be used in two modes, the router mode and the access point mode. Good feature about here, wireless feature is the guest. You've got guests at home and you don't want to give them the real password. So you create a guest network, enable it, 2G, 5G, and then give these passwords to them. This is my password. I can do what I want. Test one, two, three. I can change this and this is how they will connect. So once the guests are gone and you don't want this network to be shown, you can just disable this here. Mm -hmm. Another thing here is the wireless schedule. You can enable wireless schedule and tell how many hours you want the internet connection to work out of this router. Now, the best thing about this router, what I like, is the parental control. So this parental control lets you control what websites you don't want to allow people to watch, what websites. It also gives you an option of selecting the devices which you want to block. Here in my case, I've blocked YouTube on one of the Amazon Fire Sticks. So let me just give you how to do it. I go here, I select, I don't want, um, I select YouTube or let's say Facebook. Click on OK. OK, let me select this device. I don't want this device to access Facebook. I selected this device. You can select so many devices, right? Go here. Then the next step, input what content you don't want. I don't want to block. Here you write the name of the website that you want to block. Okay, I, I want to block Facebook. I want to block YouTube. It comes here and then click on next. You don't need to write the whole URL. You can just write down Facebook and YouTube. Only the specific keywords will do. Click on next and then save. So you will not be able to access Facebook or YouTube on that particular device. Also, it gives an option of block. I just write something like block. I click on. So I say, think about this, right? I want this phone to access internet only during certain times. So time limit. Okay, Monday to Friday, this phone can access internet only two hours even on Saturdays and Sundays. So similarly, you can configure this here. So now if I click on save, so this particular phone can access internet only for two hours, so time limit. So you'll not be able to get internet from that. So now I don't need that. So I'm just gonna remove it like this, delete it, delete it. I'll keep the YouTube rule active as of now. So I, I think this is a very good feature for home users where we have kids and you can you know, control their usage. So looking at all these features, my view would be I'd be giving it this router a thumbs up. It's easy to set up using the app and the browser. It is good router giving one gigahertz of speed it has good security on a WPA2 and WPA3. I believe that anyone looking for gaming can go ahead with this router. If there are any questions, you can always write a comment and I would respond to that. Hope this video was helpful to you. Till my next video, take care.